Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting every achievement in the complete easy slash quickest way in The Sims 4. Developed by Maxis, published by EA, it is free to play right now on EA Play, or if you've got an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you can play it on there too, since both of them are combined with the Ultimate subscription. Now, we all know The Sims, easy premise, but seriously addictive. And normally these achievements would take you easily over 80 hours to obtain, but not today, buddy. So basically, what some fantastic people have done is created certain families we can use that already have their stuff ready for the achievements to unlock, so we don't need to do that much work. Seriously, kudos to you, legends. So an 80-hour grind fest goes down to 3-4 to four hours, and we are all up for a bit of that, ain't we? Me, me, me. So, without further ado, let us do this then. Now, when we press A to start, what it's, what's going to happen is basically they're going to ask for an EA account. Um, so if you don't have an EA account, basically what you have to do is put in your username, email address, and you should be good to go. For me, as you'll see in just a second, um, I haven't used mine in a while, so it'll ask me to reset my password. I guess I'll have to then. God, don't tell me what to do, God. But actually, I have to because we need to view other people's EA accounts to download said families, hence making the EA account. So there we go. So I've got to reset my password. Please don't, um, please don't spam me if you guess those uh, other couple of letters there. Thanks. Now then, what we've got to do is do a little bit of preparation in terms of downloading every family that we need and even sort of understanding... The game, you know, if you haven't played The Sims for a while, understanding where to look, etc, etc. Because it can be a little, uh, you know, a little uh, confusing. So once it finally load up then, what you will see is uh, the play button on the right, the change profile, gallery and options. Now the first thing we need to be doing then is going actually into the gallery. Like I said, this is where we are going to get a couple uh, download a couple of families and this is the reason that you need an EA account to be able to view like I said other people's EA accounts to be able to download them so yeah okay well thanks very much that's I don't want to share any creations I don't want to share my only fans oh sorry <laughs> sorry that's it for another video anyway as you can see there on the bar uh, on the bar then go down and scroll down to EA account ID that won't appear if you don't have an EA account so just to uh, be sure there. Now then, if we type in, first of all, we're going to type in Malachen, M-A-L-A-C-H-E-N. This fantastic absolute legend of an absolute goddamn hell yeah. Um, basically, he we're going to download three families. And um, we're going to download the Trop He family, which is a very, ple uh, very funny way of saying trophy or Trop He He. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. Uh, the Trop He family, the Trop He family 2, and the Legacy Trop He family. I've, I've, sorry, no, that's it. I've got to call it Trop He He family from now on. That is just even better. Everyone's going to be thinking of Michael Jackson tonight by the time we are gun done with this game. Oh! So, as long as you've got those three... Um, all downloaded, so that's the only ones that we're downloading then from Malachin is the Trop E Family, Trop E Family 2 Legacy, Trop E Family. Next, what we're going to do is download Naomi underscore Len, and basically with her we are getting the Ghost Family, Basket Case Trophy, and Grim Reaper Family Trophy. So again, huge, huge shout out to Malachin, Naomi, Len, and the others I will be saying in just a bit for uh, downloading these families for us because they have come in extreme handy. Funnily enough, they have anyway. So there we go then. So when we get to Naomi, Len, again, if for some reason you type in her name and it doesn't come up, if you just type in either, you can type in Basket Case or Grim Reaper and you can actually look for her name that way. So that's just in case that one doesn't come up then. But again, they are the ones that we're going for then. So Ghost Family, Basket Case Trophy, and Grim Reaper Family Trophy. Mm. 
Rightio, chaps. So, right up next up then, what we are looking for is NZJoey89. And we're only downloading one thing of his. But again, big shout out to NZJoey89 for giving us the circle of life. And I, I knew that was coming. Sorry, I genuinely tried hard not to do that. But there it is. So, NZJoey89, Circle of Life 2. If, like I said, you can't find NZ Joey by his name, then just type in Circle of Life 2. Obviously, use the download button. Use the heart button as well. Uh, you know, give the creators some love as well, because they bloody deserve it. So that's NZ Joey 89 Circle of Life 2. Downloaded. Liked. Happy days. Now, what we're going to do, um, there is a guy called Chris Hartung, 123, um, who has these specific triplets. We need to find these specific triplets for one of the most, which would have been one of the most tedious uh, achievements in the games. Now, I'd originally downloaded just a, a regular couple who were supposed to have triplets, and they either just had one kid, or the kid didn't come at all for some reason, or some bloody just stupid. Don't call yourself triplets if you ain't going to have triplets. Don't lie to me, butters. So what we are going to do is find, there he is then, so again, big shout out to Chris Hatung, eight, uh, one, two, three. These are the particular ones, they've got, it's literally got oh, 1,500 downloads, probably more by now. Um, but go ahead, see the download button there, download those, because these are the ones that worked absolutely perfectly for me. For some reason, uh, other ones I tried just did not, so get out those Love Island looking, um, <laughs> that Love Island looking couple there. And then we can move on. So, next up. And last but not least, we need to be typing in the words Black Widow. Now, there are a couple of people who've created the same ones, and we need to be picking the exact same one. Um, and basically, the picture is, there should be two women, um, four women or four guys in the middle with like, uh, well, look like skeletons for sure. So, the top one, very top one right there, top left-hand corner, that is the one... You need to be picking the exact same one as I do here because uh, we'll be unlocking our first couple of achievements through these guys and gals. So make sure to do that then. So again, big shout out to everyone who I've mentioned who has uh, created these families for us to basically exploit and not pay them any money for it. So thank you very much. We, <laughs> we appreciate you. We think of you very highly. So now that should be finally that then. So... Takes a couple of minutes to sort of prepare yourself there, but we can now skip the tutorial. Um, we don't. I'll, I'll tell you what to do. It'll be fan. You'll be fan. So it's going to ask us to create something. We're going to say no thanks, and then basically, if you head up into the right uh, top right hand corner there, you will be able to open the gallery, which should be the middle option. There it is. So open the hell out of that, and the first thing we're doing is going to be downloading said Black Widow family. The first one with the four guys for skulls on the t-shirts, etc. Uh, you need to obviously scroll across to my library first. Um, I, yeah, because I didn't, because I'm stupid. And then just um, choose the place household bottom and then choose replace. Always choose replace. When we've got to start a new game, we've got to choose a new family, always choose replace, otherwise it'll just, just make it... It'll make it a bit more awkward, and that's not what we want. So now we can press play there, and does that guy have a weird shape, or is that just me? Has he got a, the big sort of, big starving belly, but with uh, skinny everything else? Some people would like that, you know. So we're going to just choose Willow Creek. We're just going to keep sticking with the same place and the same two houses all the time. And right there, streamlet single, and right next to it is basically an empty plot of land. So those are the two that we're going to be mainly going for. The rest can suck off. Uh, suck off, I said. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm less sweary in my mature old age. So when you click on it, you have to click on it again, and then immediately we'll get the full house achievement for having eight sims in a household. But what these guys are going to do... Um, they basically were caught on camera having unprotected butt stuff sex, and um, they all meet their maker. The Grim Reaper's not happy. I assume he wanted to join in, so he got a bit jealous. Um, so, <laughs> if you press the right bumper, uh, right bumper to obviously skip ahead, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there, you can skip ahead the time uh, quite quickly. 
Um, if you want to pause it, obviously just press the left bumper to go down to pause, play, fast, faster, etc. It's just right bumper and left bumper there. Uh, what what big old uh, Grim Reaper is going to do, the jealous Grim Reaper, um, is he's just going to turn everyone into ashes or urns or graves. That's unlucky. But that's what happens when you get caught on camera having the unprotected. Jeremy Kyle would be fuming right now. So we're just going to wait a minute, it can take up for a couple of minutes, and then that is good. So we had to wait for them to be done. Ah, when they are nice, dead, and buried, you can press the uh, start button on the Xbox, of course, and now we can go down to manage world. Now, you'd never have to save, or, or whatever, you literally don't have to, which is always nice. Uh, but we can just go to manage the world, then we'll go back into Willow Creek. Now, what we need to be doing, since... Our four dearly beloved um, butt, butt buddies have just um, deceased, I'm afraid. They had their fun, but now we need to go to Manage Household, which is in the top right-hand corner. Click on the family itself, and then click on the pencil to edit them in. Um, obviously, this wouldn't have worked with the full household, which is why we needed the four to die. Which is just unfortunate. Sorry it had to be those guys, but such is life. Now what we need to do there, we need to open up the gallery again. Uh, scroll over to my library if you haven't already, and now we're going to be using NZ Joey's Circle of Life. And we need to actually be downloading, da, 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 downloading two of these little honeys. Now the Circle of Life, you know what it's, you know what it's about. Breath, Death, and Seth Rogen. Yes! Uh, but yes, so once we've downloaded one, just download her again. You can literally download as many times as you want. But two is all we need. So stick to just downloading two. There we go. Place household. Lovely. So now that we've got two of them, now what you can do is actually, if you go into the top left-hand corner, apologies that the, my Welsh hand is signed, there's a Sims gem there. Very obvious looking gem, but you can go into edit relationships. And you can choose anyone. I just chose the top one because she was there. But you got to make her the wife. Um, apparently, we are the, the the butcher one, I guess. I can see a little penis hanging out there. Oh, is that something on my screen? Um, but no, as long as you make sure that that one woman is the wife, um, now we can actually play. Again, apologies to the, that my Welsh hand sign is at the top left-hand corner there. That's the only time that we really need to use that. So, all is good. So, now we can just go back on the same... Uh, same sort of building, the same house that we were at, the Streamlet Single. Sounds like a really, really bad um, swingers place, really, doesn't it? Single Streamlets, full of 80-year-old testicle-held disgustingness. Not my, not my cup of tea, thanks. Not 80-year-olds, anyway. <laughs> so, what we need to do then, once again, we are just being quite morbid at the beginning of this game. Uh, but we're going to go into options, and what we're going to do is go to the gameplay options, set the sim sh uh, span life to short. I think, did I just say span life? Yeah, you know what it means. So we need we need to be killing these sims as quickly as possible. So the sims life needs to be on short. So we'll do that, apply the changes, and then go ahead. So what they're going to do is they're going to pee and poop their pants and they're gonna hug each other and blah 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 but all we need to do is wait for them to die it is quite morbid uh, six deaths in about <laughs> less than 15 minutes well that's a pretty good record right Now I've actually sped up the video myself for extra quickness because you can, you might be waiting around not too long, it's only going to take a couple of minutes but basically what's going to happen is she's going to wave goodbye, she stinks, she literally stunk to death, that's a rare occurrence but it does happen so, and what's going to happen is the Grim Reaper is going to show up, he's going to take one of the women, um, either one and that's going to get you the Black Widow trophy but what's also happening as you can see as well there are a lot of uh, skill related achievements popping as well so Hoping that you will get the exact same ones. If not, you'll get it a bit later on. But you should be pretty much on par with the exact same uh, achievements that I got there. So I just sped that part up there because we were waiting around for quite a while. But that's all you had to do then was just literally wait 
that's it. You literally had to wait until the achievements were popping to get Black Widow, etc. So, next up then, we are now back on to Manage Worlds. And we are going to open up the gallery once more. And this time we are going for the Grim Reaper... Grim Reaper Family Trophy. Now, how he's managed to stick his bone er, inside a blonde lady without killing her is incredible, really. It's just fantastic. So we need to place the household Grim Reaper family. You can evict um, the last one or you can move in with them. It's completely up to you. Literally makes no difference at this point in time. Um, but the main thing, um, it might be easier if you um, move it in with the other family because all we need to do is get the Grim Reaper to just talk to someone. Um, now, you can do it straight away if you want to, um, where you click on the Grim Reaper and get him to talk to someone, but he does it immediately. Look at him. Look at him being a horny devil. There's a woman in a bikini, but the Grim Reaper is being extremely horny. Straight to the blonde in a mini black dress. Now, normally if this was a night out, that same blonde would uh, pull a face or tell us she's a lesbian before moving on and laughing at us. But the Sims are not quite that cruel, so I appreciate that big time. Thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> right, but you should unlock that uh, Grim Reaper trophy there. That achievement slash trophy, of course, being called Hello Darkness, my old chum. Please don't stick it up my bum. All uh, right, so anyway, when we are <laughs> come back to our world, uh, we're going to open up the gallery once more. And this time we are going to uh, download the Ghost Family Trophy. And this one is basically, as soon as we move in, the achievement is going to unlock again. So that is another simple pimple chicken terry impel one. Whatever the hell a chicken terry impel is. I'm sure it's on a menu somewhere. Uh, again, move into any plot. It can be the, um, you know, try move what... Uh, Try move into one that you can actually afford, which will always be Streamlit Single or the um, Empty Lot Ride there. Um, so you can just evict the family, screw those guys. And there we go. So as soon as we move in, then the achievement will pop for us. Ah, oh, that's nice. They're giving each other a little hug. How do they manage to... Don't ghosts normally go through each other? I, I'm not a ghost expert, but, you know, I've seen all the TV shows and ghosts go through stuff normally. Anyway, right, what we're going to do next then, we are going to be getting the triplet achievement out of the way. Next, so we're going to go to Open Gallery there in the top right corner, and we're going to be using... Go to my library and use Chris Hartung, 123s, um, Love Island, <laughs> apparently six babies are about to crack out of them, which is, whew, well, that is unlucky. But anyway, so we're going to go back to stream that's single. Again, evict uh, whoever's in there at the minute, because uh, we're not going to be needing them for a while, which is our cue. So you remember how they look like Love Island contestants? You know, with the IQ of 30? Um, well, they look more alienish versus predatorish. So that is um, that is a hell of a look. But hey, I tell you what, they are built like goddamn sex gods. Oh my god. How interesting. So, obviously, all we have to do now is wait. Um, but I very much highly advise you to keep one of the women, or even the man, um, at a happy state. Now, it would probably e be easier to keep the man at a state, since the two women are going to be very uncomfortable, um, unsurprisingly, since they're about to push three kids out of the Virginie. There we go, then. Look, so, it, it's just going to happen. It can take up to 15, 20 minutes, by the way. It may take a little bit less for you. Hopefully, it takes less for you. Name him whatever the hell you want. Um, you could just do randomise... Or you can just go with, uh, you know, Tiny Todger or 
<laughs> whatever it is that I say here. Uh, but yeah, as long as... Like I said, I used um, another bunch of apparent triplets and I only got one or two kids, but this worked every single time. Um, now, this is on a different save, but I'm just showing you that the achievement did pop for me. And then we're just going back to that same um, Alien vs. Predator family. The one with the hot bodies. There we go. So now we're back. Now, like I said, I would highly advise, because we're going to be getting another achievement now, to keep the man um, as happy as he can. So um, make sure, you know, if there's any spills or anything, make sure it's all cleaned up. Make sure he has a shower and stuff. The other women are just going to be knackered and... Popping flying potatoes out of their own personal microwave. So, you know, it'll, it'll obviously be a lot harder to keep them happy. Now, the reason that we need at least one of these happy, um, just make up, again, make up any name. I go for something, um, well, I think it's funny, but, you know, I'm hoping that you guys get the reference on this one. Um. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt smells, and I like to kiss my own butt. <laughs> ah, a little bit of humor goes a long way, huh? So. Hey, everyone's flirty. I tell you what, you've just seen six kids popping out, mate, and you're still flirty. You need it chopped off, I tell you. Right, so what we need to do then, um, basically, like I said, what we need to do is now actually bake a cake. Now, to do that, you've got to actually click on the fridge, uh, choose the cook option, and then choose either the white or chocolate cake. Literally doesn't matter which one. Now, if you were to do this with the women, um, they basically get halfway through and then think, nah, you know what, you can suck my, I can't be asked." Again, understandably, you've got six potatoes in your living room. So, the guy, as long as he's fine and happy, he's going to make the cake, he's going to put it on the table, then click on the cake, add the birthday candles, you'll have enough similar doodars anyway, and then when they put on, uh, the candles are put on, sorry, Click on the cake again, blow out the candles, and then that will actually get us the achievement older and wiser. And that is for the kid growing up. Of course, you can wait and do it naturally if you want, but that's going to take a, a, a long time. It's going to take a while, so just easier to click on the fridge, cook the cake, put the candles on, blow out the candles, job done. But again, remember to use the man or any of the women, basically, who are happy and not about to, you know, go nuts. So now we can go back to Manage Worlds anyway. And for this one, we will be going back to um, Open Gallery. We're going to be downloading Malachin's couple of families now. So first of all, we're going for the Legacy Trope Hee Hee family. Hee <laughs> Hee oh. oh man, I don't have the uh, talent nor the skill, nor the desire to be any good at singing. Um, but get the Legacy Trophy family, and then we're going to use the Streamlit, uh, Streamlit Single House, or the empty uh, plot of land there. And what this is going to do is actually unlock us two achievements straight off. So you've got the Legacy Trophy family in there, or the trophy, that's the whole point in it. But we are going to be unlocking two achievements slash trophies as soon as we load in. So the first one is going to be Legacy Player and the second one is going to be Alphabetti Spaghetti Legacy. And that's about it for those two. So we can actually just move on now. So <laughs> I'm going to stop. Uh, no. <laughs> right. But um, what we're going to be doing now anyway, we're going to be actually starting a completely new game. So from wherever you are, either in the world or... Actually, on the lots, just uh, exit out of there. We're going to start a new game. There we go. For some reason, it took me seconds to realise what new game spelt then. Hmm. Uh, again, we're going to say no thanks. You can flub up. We're not going to be needing to create anyone, but we are going to go back to opening the gallery. Now, this is important. Now, what we're going to do is uh, get Malachin's um, trophy family, the first one. Now, if we place the household, make sure to hit the replace button. Because if you choose to merge, or if you try and do it another way, you'll actually uh, spawn in with a lot less simoleon dollary dues. Uh, so basically, the whole point of this is they've got a million. That will unlock us the achievement of Rosebud for having a million simoleonians. Um, but if you do it any other way, other than uh, starting a new game and replacing it and going completely fresh, 
then they won't have enough money. So that's the way you got to do it. We'll get ourselves into another streamlet single. Um, and then that, uh, yeah, that Rosebud achievement will appear. Now, we're going to be sticking with this particular talented group of people for a while. Um, doing a, quite a few achievements with these. And what we need to do first, then, is uh, switch to Entertainer Tate, which is the woman in the white shirt there. And then have a look in the bathroom, see the mirror, and then choose, uh, click on it, and then choose Practice Speech. Now, what we can do, then, is uh, go up to Build Mode, where it says Controls at the top there, and it's the left-hand one. It may get a little bit laggy for you. Uh, I was playing this on Series X, and the lag wasn't too bad. But if you're playing on the Xbox One, it may be a little bit, so... Uh, just keep that in mind if it does get a bit laggy. Head down to the third option then, and we'll be going to electronics. Basically, we're going to be buying a couple of computers. More specifically, the one that costs 10,000 simoleon dollar we do is the Ghost Writing Disappearing Desktop. I'm not sure why, but this one just seems to work blemissimo. You know what I mean, Os? So what you need to do then is just place them where the table and chairs are. We need to place them in front of the chairs, of course. Uh, for some reason, I had a, an, an incredible issue <laughs> trying to get it to face the other chair for some particular reason. Uh, maybe it was just designed by Satan just to piss me off. Uh, so what you can do is actually just back out of that, grab the computer by itself, and then uh, put it towards the chair if you're having issues like I was. Next up then, when we've got the computers down, we need to go to the activities and skill bar. Again, the third option down there, and then go to activities and skill. Go to uh, music, and we need to be uh, buying a microphone, basically. And it's the Royal Wii, the Royal Wii microphone. Um, pick any colour you want, it's 250, I mean, we literally, we're millionaires, we could buy everything if we wanted, but since we're not going to do that, place it sort of in the middle of the room, that's fine for now. Um, that's going to be Entertainer Tate's a little ting a little bit later on when we get into the career stuff. But for now, we can actually just go back into live mode. Again, um, just be wary of the lag. It won't shut down or anything like that. Um, of course, you can always pause the video as well if, it, if these um, douchebags are getting a little too ahead of themselves and a bit much. Uh, but what we need to do, we're actually going for an achievement now called Overachiever. So clicking on the Aspirations menu and going to the Rewards Store. This is where it is. You've just seen me click it then. Uh, head down to Inspired Potions. Buy about three or four of those. And that's all we're going to need. And then if we head all the way down, you're going to find something called Insta Large and Insta Lean. Now, you know exactly where we're going with this then. Uh, but, but I tell you what, the Insta Large would come in extreme handy if you wanted to be something like World's Strongest Man or, you know, want to compete in like bikini modeling competitions or something. But hey, we don't have that. Well, we do, it's called steroids, but you know, it's a lot more expensive. So if you actually click on the inventory inventory menu there, where you could just see, we're going to choose the Insta Large, and we're also going to drink it. Also, we're going to get a lot of uh, more skill-related achievements as well, just pop in randomly. So as soon as we can stop practicing in the mirror, if you do want so if you do want someone to stop what they're doing, where the um, icon is in the bottom left-hand corner, you can actually just click on it, and it you can cancel it for them instead of waiting for them. So yeah, plenty of skill achievements are going to start unlocking and popping and bopping. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but for some reason, it actually took me a while to uh, figure that one out. <laughs> to actually uh, being able to cancel it. Oh, there we go, look. There we go. So, hey, we always get there in the end. So she's going to drink that. She's going to go into the bathroom and then all of a sudden, she's going to go boom, boom, pow. She's going all nutty professor on us. Eddie Murphy, nutty professor, that is. Damn, there she goes. So, she has gotten a bit chunkier with one drink. So, we are currently um, the virgin nutty professor. And then what you need to do is click back on the inventory and choose the insta lean potion this time. Get it to drink that. And then we'll be going back down to um, dickhole Eddie Murphy, nutty professor. Where he is Chad and less virgin. As soon as she stops drinking it anyway. As soon as she begins to. Oh, well, nice. Again, I'm just leaving it uh, go at the minute because the achievements are still popping. <laughs> While we're talking, achievements are still popping like hell. But I am actually going to speed up the video in just a hot second. 
and she has now finally gone back to Chad Nutty Professor Eddie Murphy and which I'm just gonna speed up the video just to get rid of the rest of the achievements there um, yeah I always prefer you guys to see the achievements popping on screen as well because it's it's nice that we can do this together me and you you and me huh winky wink wink anyway so once that's all good now we are going to go to the writer who is in the yellow dress right there and then we're gonna go back to the um, aspirations menu actually and buy some more inspired potions now I actually bought some inspired potions for entertainer Tate um, which was a mistake because I actually meant to do it for our little writer friend right here um, but it's no biggie you know we've got millions in the bank so we're all good so when she is at the computer or the laptop what you need to do go into your inventory and then just go ahead and drink one of those inspired potions so click on it and choose the drink option so obviously what she's going to do is I mean fairly obviously she's going to drink the potion and become very inspired that's the whole point of it you know she's not going to grow uh, two penises or anything is she um hey get off my laptop douchebag get the hell off my nerd get off my laptop I need to be I need to be writing so anyway, if that does happen, um, very annoyingly, because you're wasting potions right now, you'll have to click on the guy, whoever that is, this time it's um, Athlete Pain, and just get him to do something else. Get him to flush his head down the toilet, or get him to crap his pants or something or anything. Yes, 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 fine, good God. So get him to do that, and then as the writer, choose the laptop, go to writing, and then choose novel, and then choose mystery book. Oh, come on now, people. You're just taking the goddamn piss. Go back down to write. Go back down. Uh, go to novel. And then choose write a mystery. And, of course, when I say novel, you obviously know I meant to say uh, to choose uh, to write a genre book. Obviously. So we can finally do it. So write, genre book, mystery. God damn, how many times have we got to do that? Now, what's going to happen is, she's obviously going to start writing this mystery book, very, very inspired. You can either just leave it as random, or we can, obviously, you can choose your own title if you want. You know, something hilarious, something witty, something smart, something smutty, something probably that you probably shouldn't write that nobody else needs to know about. Um... <laughs> Mystery of the Two Inch. Hmm, uh, I wonder what that could be, hmm? Talking about eyelids. Why do people have two inch eyelids? <laughs> God damn, what did you think? What did you people think I was all about, hmm? Right, so it probably just took way too long writing that out, so sorry to bore you to death then with that. But this is what's going to happen then. So as soon as you see that she stopped being very inspired, all you need to do is just drink another potion, get back to writing, genre book, mystery, and just keep that. Um, it worked on my third attempt, so it probably... You might get lucky and it might work for you first time. It didn't work for me first time, though. So I had to drink three inspired potions before she became a best uh, seller over a chip. Hey! Get the hell off my crap, dude! Wasting my very inspired potions here, man. Oh, jeez, right, thank you. So hopefully, your sims won't be total assholes like mine were. So eventually then, I, like I said, I've obviously just sped it up because it does, you know, it takes about ten minutes of her uh, sort of writing two or three mystery novels. But eventually then, um, I said, this is my fourth one, actually. This is my fourth one, and I think it does um, actually work this time. Finally. Could have got that sooner and made us wait a bit less, but there we are. So, aspiration achieved, overachiever. We finally have that achievement. So, like I said, just keep drinking the potions. Keep writing mystery books three or four times in, and it should definitely work for you. 
Right then, so next up we have the most potentially confusing bit, but it's actually not bad. I'll try and explain this as best I can. So we need to get our uh, careers all maxed. Now, when you click on the sort of left-hand option by the aspirations menu, you see there a uh, green arrow, daily performances, performance tasks, etc. The green arrow, as long as the green arrow is mostly to the right, that means that they have a fantastic chance of getting promoted the next time they go to work. Um, what gives them an even better chance is obviously if they're happy and they're always fine, which if you pick this family, they always should be, so you don't have to worry about that. But the other thing is doing the daily tasks as well. That gives you basically the best chance of getting promoted. So head into build mode. I'm not going to obviously show you every single one. I'm just going to um, explain it a bit. And I'll just tell you what to do, where to go, where to find things, etc. So we're going to head into, we're going to basically buy a treadmill right here. Uh, because we're going with Athlete Pain. We go in as Athlete Pain as sort of a random one. Um, and what he needs to do is basically mentor someone. So we've got the treadmill. Uh, so go back into live mode and then we can pick any other character, any other sim except for Athlete Pain Bobs. And then we just need to get them running on the treadmill. So again, pick anyone. You know, it, it's not a contest. You can literally pick anyone. I don't know what the hell I was waiting for then. So obviously then you'll just need to click on the actual treadmill. There we go. So she's starting to go. Um, as soon as she starts running, that is when we can click on her as Athlete Pain. And then the Mentor um, option appears. So there we go. She done a Jim Carrey mass spin. Bah! She fell. <laughs> so click on her now and then the Mentor button should appear. So that is uh, basically all we need to do. And everyone's got their own different set. So for Entertainer Tate, it's the microphone, so she needs to tell jokes. So doing the daily task um, before she goes to work will always help. Now, obviously, if she does decide to run away, just get her back on it. Keep, keep her going until she basically injures herself. Or until athlete's pain status and daily task <laughs> is complete. It's, it's quite, um, well, it's quite slave laborish that. You, you must run until you injure yourself. Um, but as soon as that is done, all we have to do then is just wait. Wait until they go to work. It'll say on the way you've got your promotional tasks and your daily tasks, it'll say how long it takes until they've got to go to work and until they come back. Uh, but also, just be aware too that some of these achievements might pop just automatically for you. So they might have everything done and everything's perfect because they've all they are all basically in the green on the very right-hand side. So... Every time one of them goes to work, they've got this um, incredible opportunity to get promoted. So it might work for five of you, it might just work for the one, uh, but it might work for the two. But as you can see there then, the uh, daily task is complete. So Athlete Payne now has this uh, much better opportunity to get his ass promoted. Um, which is always handy. So now he's off to work. Look, as you can see there, two people have now have briefcases. You can get them home early if you wanted to, but of course we're going for the max career. So, you know, don't do that. Just don't do that. Uh, so for now, if you wanted to, you could obviously switch to another character and do their daily tasks who um, are home. And they just keep on repeating until they go to work and come home. Honestly, a lot of the time, I got promotions first time. It was only, it was a kind of a rarity where they'd come home and not get promoted. But if that's the case, again, just if they do come home and they don't get promoted, just do their daily task. Um, keep hitting the fast forward, of course, and just wait until they go to work and come back. Generally, after the second attempt, you are guaranteed a promotion because they're always happy and they're always, you know, good like that so i'm just basically showing you uh, the achievements popping now of course be be aware and be prepared that you may have to wait you know it could be 10 minutes could be 20 minutes could be um 25 30 minutes it really does depend on your game and if they get promoted straight away or not now at this particular point anyway i got three achievements to unlock um, automatically without doing anything it was only athlete pain and entertainer tate which i had to do the daily tasks for and they were all good in the end. Um, so yeah, it's it's going to take a little bit, take a little bit of time. Like I said, 10, 20 minutes. But after we've got that, we can finally move on. There are five other careers that we need to max out. But we'll come to that a little bit later on. More towards the end of the video. 
So now here we are, we are still with the same family, we haven't gone anywhere. But we are going to be getting another achievement out of the way now. So as Entertainer Tate, if you click on the laptop, go up to more options and then choose purchase seeds. Um, you can choose any ones you want. Uh, they've all got, they're all pretty much vegetable-ish. Um, <laughs> so they should be good to go. You only really need one packet of seeds. Um, but for some reason I'm splashing all the cash. We are millionaires after all, so might as well buy 80 two dollar pack of seeds huh look at me rich boy so when once they are bought we're gonna head out into the garden and then if you go into our inventory you can see our seeds in the inventory ready now we actually need to open up the packet so you click on it and then choose open the packet of seed and then what's that what that's gonna do is give us all the vegetables now if you choose if you click the X button or square on the PlayStation you'll be able to drag that uh, seed out <coughs> excuse me so yeah, you'll be able to drag that seed out with the X button slash square and then just place it absolutely anywhere on the grass. Um, to be honest, you don't have to put that many down, but it's a, I think it's a case of the more, the merrier, the easier it'll grow and um, the, the quicker the bush will grow for us to be able to splice it open, take the cut in. So just keep slamming out, you know, anywhere, but again, anywhere from 10 to 20. I'm really not sure why everything's 10 to 20 in this video, but that's fine too. And just keep banging it all out, and then what we're obviously going to need to do then is get our friend Entertainer Tate to water the plants, tend to the garden, and then we're just waiting for it to grow. So get her out here then, and she's going to start uh, watering all the plants, she's going to do all the gardening. You, you literally only have to click on it once, and then she'll just do the rest, which is all nice. As soon as they're all... Th um, Digged and buried, just keep choosing 10 garden. And then obviously what that's gonna do is they're all gonna grow. Again, I've sped this video up because nobody wants to see someone do gardening. Unless it's Alan Titchmarsh for some reason. That guy is a national British treasure. And that's probably the most boring British thing I've ever said. Um, but as you can see, this big bush has now uh, sprung up. So what you can do is click on it and then choose the take cutting option. Oh, we're old! We're also old now, look, jeez. That's why we're doing gardening, because we've just gone old. And then you can choose the graft option right there. And that is what will unlock us the achievement. So that's the only way you can get it, but it is an easy one to obtain anyway. So there's that beautiful Blemissimo rare achievement sound. And sticking with the new, oh my gosh, the old people. Now, if you haven't got the Tech Guru Max Courier Achievement, this is another way that you can actually do it if it hasn't unlocked automatically for you. So, we're going to head into build mode once again, down to the third option with uh, the chair or whatever the flub that is. Back to electronics, we're actually going to buy a TV now. So, head to televisions. And then what we're going to buy is the Genius Vision Wall Mount TV. So make sure you're choosing the Wall Mount TV and not the free standing one. It should only cost three, three and a half grand, but they are next to each other, so it may be a bit confusing. So just go ahead and pop that on the wall. Now, again, as the tech guru, you can just watch the TV. That'll do a daily task, and that should give her an e easier chance of being promoted. Again, just in case it hasn't unlocked for you yet. Uh, what we can do now, uh, we need to salvage some parts as we are going to upgrade a radio and the TV. Of course, we need to buy the radio first, but that's fine. So where we are, where our little gardening friend there is, um, just get the 995 trusty television uh, simoleon dollar dues, and then we're just gonna we're gonna take about five. Five should be enough. Five should be all you need. Falling in love with me, I'm a TV. There we go, so do it, it's kind of a bowling looking thing there. And then what you need to do, we need to go to audio, and we need to buy a radio. It's a big radio, it's one that's going to cost 1800 simoleons, and it's the one on the very, very end. The Landlord Whisperer. Just like the Dog Whisperer, but um, for radio heads. Ah, radio head. That wasn't even a joke, that was just me being stupid, sorry. Um, so by that then, happy days. So we've got the TV and we've got the um, Landlord Whisperer radio. So now we can go back into build mode. And the first thing we're going to be doing then, go uh, press start, go into game options. Uh, down to gameplay again. And then what we need to do is actually turn the sim anomaly and turn that off. 
When it's full, that means they've got sort of free range to do whatever the hell they want. But if we turn it off, they basically just stand still like Shaun of the Dead zombies who are chained up outside of Sainsbury's. For anyone that has seen that film, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So turn that off, make sure that's off, and it basically stops giving them free reign to do whatever they want. Not under my household, buddy. So, like I said, I'm just sticking with Entertainer Tate. It makes no difference who you do it with, but we're just going to salvage all of the parts off these trusty TVs. That is literally five grand just wasted. God, wouldn't it be nice to have five grand just to take apart TVs? Yeah, it would be fantastic. Uh, I did, did speed it up a little bit again there. And then what we need to do with that, we need to actually upgrade the radio. So click on the radio, choose upgrade, and choose the top option, super reception. So as long as um, the TV and the radio both have super reception on them, what that does is gives them both an extra couple of channels, which we need for the channel surfer achievement. Uh, excuse me? You can, uh, no, 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 you cannot just go to work. I need you. Christ, I wish it was that easy. I don't fancy working a day, I'm doing some upgrades to the TV and the radio. Uh, but if they do go to work, you can literally just click on her icon on the bottom, or on the bottom left, and it just you can just choose to miss work. That comes in mega handy. We obviously don't care because, you know, we're rich enough. Why are we going to work anyway? Um, so yeah, there we go. So we've got the TV and the radio, both got super reception. As I was saying, before you rudely interrupted me, but pissing off to work... We need to get the Channel Surfer achievement for listening to every radio station and watching every TV show. So if you click on the radio, go to listen to, and then just go through every single option once. Now the problem with this achievement is, it doesn't unlock, or seemingly doesn't unlock when it's supposed to, and it was the same for me. Um, so we're just going to go through everything. So leave it, you know, leave the music play for a, a couple of seconds, two or three seconds, before clicking onto the next one. Um... Now, I'm not sure if dancing to the music helps, because when I clicked the dance option, the, the achievement appeared a little bit, literally, seconds later. Um, so now we're watching the TV. Now, what I would say for this bit, uh, this bit did, for some reason, confuse me first, but whoever's got the control, if you go ahead and click on the next option, w whether it's action or comedy or whatever, just wait until they turn it over, rather than cancelling the action. Uh, it may seem a little bit obvious, but I cancelled all the actions and obviously it didn't unlock. Um, I, I also chose a different character as well, so it, it's a weird one. It's a very weird one, but just make sure that the sims are changing the channels, etc. and changing the radio stations as well. Um, again, this did take around 15 minutes for me. Um, I just kept going, through the I kept going through the options. I kept choosing to dance to uh, the radio and things like that, so it, I promise it will unlock. But it will take a, a, a little bit of time. For some reason, that one is as glitchy as balls. So, what we can do now is just go back to uh, managing the world. We're coming up quite close to the end of the game, actually, now. The rest of the achievements are coming up soon. And since we have, of course, stuck with the trope, he family, if you um, click on the streamlet single and then choose the three dots next to it and choose manage household, we're going to uh, edit them out now basically, so click the pencil there, the edit icon, and then what we are able to do, we're actually able to delete a couple of these sims which we need, so if you go down to the left hand side there, if you click on them eventually you should see, there it is, the Y button, obviously triangle on the PlayStation, to delete sims. Now. Um, you can delete any ones, but uh, just leave two. So delete three and save two. And then what we can do then, there we go, happy days. Hey, honey, you survived. You win 10,000 simoleons, honey. Uh, go to open gallery and then we're going to get the trove. Hee hee. Family two. That was as weak as they come, but I don't mind. So it's the trophy family two. And basically, we're going for the rest of the career maxing now. We are going to do some... A bit of sexy time. A bit of woohoo time. And we're going to be doing the rest of the maxed careers. Which is what these trophy families... Uh, there's the second one. The trophy family 2 is for. Because uh, you've got astronauts. We've got bars. Uh, the bar and culinary, etc. So now we should do this. So it's going to be the exact same then. But we're going to be focusing a lot more on the astronaut to begin with. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So as soon as we load ourselves in, 
choose the astronaut so we went from being a celebrity bodybuilder to an astronaut man this guy's had quite the life so far in his uh, one bedroom streamlit single house with a million dollar reduce so click on the build mode and then instead of looking for it it's just easier to type in the search bar rocket um i can't be asked searching for it. it's just it's just easier isn't it so choose the first one five grand the flying the steaming flame jig or whatever the hell that's called and then just build the pad right there then of course what we're going to do go back into live mode and we're going to get astronaut pain ass to actually build a rocket on his own what a king what an absolute king so of course it's the same thing with the promotion so they should all have um the arrows in the very right hand side and a whole bunch of daily tasks or well one daily task to do but like i said we're not going to worry about the others for a minute we are going to specifically focus on astronaut pain dog um so well, while he's building this if you wanted to you can literally um get the others to do their daily tasks as well before they go to work um just get you know gives you that extra bit of um i forget the word uh, for, for the promotion um didn't actually mean to do this but it's worth doing anyway you've got to get his daily task out of the way anyway so he's gonna uh, nip up in the air you're going to get a couple of um, boxes to answer, etc. And then he's eventually going to come back down. So, after we do the daily task, we've built a rocket ship. We've built the daily task. Now, here is where Mr. Astronaut needs to get a little horn doggish. Horn doggish. And the easiest one that we're going to have a little flirt with is Business Tate, the woman in the white shirt. Now, she's going to have a green bar. As we're talking to her, she's going to have the green bar. That's basically a friendship bar. So if you talk to her about gaming, she loves gaming. She gets her panties in a big twist for gaming, which I'm not surprised us gamers are. We're hot. There's no, there's no, there's no doubt about it. We are stunning. Um, so yeah, just keep talking to Business Tate about gaming. Just keep flirting with her, you know, little hugs and things like that. Again, these max career achievements are going to pop randomly. But before we... We're just going to, like I said, we're just going to keep talking to business tape for now. Um, the main thing that we need to be doing is actually getting our astronaut uh, promoted as well before we get to the rumpy, pumpy, little stumpy bit. Which, for me, uh, appeared now, so that was fine. Um, so just make sure that he gets promoted before we do a little... Uh, Finger blasting in the rocket ship. Whatever the hell I just said. Oh, you know. So yeah, just again, keep keep flirting. You know, little bits of compliments. Either gaming or compliments, etc, etc. Now, when you see, now that we've got our friendship uh, basically meter full, the relationship meter will start to rise. And you see all these little... I. All these little um, words with the pink, a little bit of pink by it. So if you choose them as well, that always helps. It's just hugging, kissing. If you choose more options, uh, you've got a romance option. So you can hug, kiss, flirt. You can do sexy poses. You can whip out a nutsack, take a picture, send it to her on a phone or something. Uh, just stuff like that. So again, before we do a bit of woohooing in the rocket ship, because that is what we are intending to do here, me, you... You, me, and Dupree in the rocket ship. So we should now get the option. When it gets to about a quarter, maybe half full, you should now have the option to woohoo on the rocket ship. I've got a naughty idea. <laughs> Let me stick it in Sergeant and P, according to Eric Cartman from the South Park. Let's see how long... Can he last longer than me? One, two, three, four, five... Pfft. Ah, ah! Ah, I gone. I'm gone, so he does last longer than me. So congratulations, buddy. You are fantastic. So anyway, <laughs> like I said, as long as you've got the promotion uh, beforehand, just doing that would have made it... Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to be able to woohoo on the rocket. So there we go. So we've got that now. I, <laughs> she looks... She looks tired. I'm not surprised. I'd be knackered after 10 seconds of incredible loving. Um, but what we're also going to do now, we're actually just going to max out the relationship meter again. So you're going to keep, it's obviously going to be a, a little, a lot easier for you actually. So you're just going to keep flirting, romancing. Um, I end up proposing to her as well. That gives you big relationship points. Hey, we're all engaged. Which are which, what I wasn't thinking about when we were 20,000 miles up in the air in a rocket ship when you were inside me. 
Yes, Business Tate does have those um, drildos for men. <sighs> it hurts. It hurts me so bad. So, what we need to do next bit then, we actually need to turn into a ghost. So, if you hit the left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, and right trigger all at the same time, and then type in this, which is traits.equip underscore trait space laugh. So, you've got to do it exactly as you see it there. And then what you'll be able to see then in the background, it's probably not, you're probably thinking it's going to be something funny. It's really, really not. Um, he's, uh, Astronaut's going to turn, turn himself into a ghost Magoni. So as long as you put that, um, you'll see in the background, there he goes. So now he's a ghost. So we've got a couple of ghost related achievements to get. So let's have it. And so what we need to do then, there is a mobile phone icon just uh, on the bottom left, as you can see there, right next to the characters. And now if you go across once by pressing the uh, right bumper button or the D-pad, whichever one, choose split, um, split out of the household and move. So we need to be doing that one. So I'm leaving you, but I still love you. So what we need to do now is this uh, menu will come up. So if you head down to the bottom, in the middle there where it says zero, we need to basically type in $700,000 news. Uh, so you can't actually use the arrows because there's nothing in there. So type in 700,000, 700,000, and then choose the right option. There we go. So that gives our ghost pal 700 grand. So not only did he get propose and make love in a rocket ship, he's now ghosted himself and he's just taking all their money that that sounds like a lot of awfully familiar stories in real life happening I, i'm really not sure if uh, the developers knew what they were doing but that is hilariously accurate so we need to go um basically we're going to put our ghost friend in a new house now so what we're going to do is just choose the empty lot right next to the streamlet single that one is fine there it literally makes no difference the achievement we need is for inviting a ghost into the household. Now, unfortunately for me, for whatever reason, my fiance, Miss Business Tate, was fuming with something, as we will see. Um, so what we need to do then, we now need to go back to uh, manage household, because we actually need to go back into the stream that's single. And I'll tell you what I mean by Business Tate being fuming. Something to do with a business spouse being jealous. I couldn't tell if she was the word cheating was on in there I, I i had no idea what was going on but anyway even if she's very angry which she is it'll still be fine to get this achievement so spank you for that business tatos ah delicious when the loading screen loads up okay right finally we're there eventually so obviously choose business Tate and as you can see she is angry I've got no idea why but she doesn't get out of this state for about a day but again if she's angry or happy it does not matter because we'll be doing the same thing anyway so if you if you just uh, put the screen all the way up there um, you'll be able to actually go over um, and visit astronaut Payne. Um, now, obviously, we only want to be doing it with Business Tate. For some reason, I clicked off it by accident. So, click Business Tate. You can tell who she is because... Um, <laughs> mm, very angry. We're not visiting her with anyone. She just needs to... She needs to rant and rave. She needs to let go of the little things. She needs to take the butt plug out for a start. Or is that nice? Well, I can never tell. Not for me, anyway. Um, <laughs> that's an exit only. That's an exit only sign there, son. Not an entry. Right, so, we need to do a little bit of uh, chatting first, so... Hey, get off your phone, stink breath, you've come over for a visit. Chat to me. There we go, so, a little bit of conversation is going to happen. Again, I'm going to speed up the video uh, just a little bit. It's only going to take about a minute or two of uh, conversation, and every time you click on him then, you should eventually get an option to invite him to the household. Should be the next one now. Which is why I slowed the video down, obviously. Right. So there it is then. Invite astronaut Payne to the household. I wonder how she feels about her fiancé being all ghosted. Does he still have the same ghost wang? Does it still work? Or does it still go straight through you? <laughs> so we've got that one done. Now we are going to find out what it would be like.
and that is literally what the achievement's called as well. So click on the house, go home, choose Astronaut Payne as well, because he's coming over for a Viswat. He's coming over for a real good visit. Giggity, giggity, gig. Now, of course, if our business tape was happy, we could literally click straight on the bed, woohoo in bed, and then the achievement would unlock. Sadly, we've got to wait for a little bit while she de butt plugs herself. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you can do then is just keep talking to Astronaut Payne. The, the, you'll probably still look at the way she walks. Now, that is uh, very angry. I've cracked my pants walk, that. Uh, but, yeah, sadly, we've got to wait for a bit. So just keep talking to Astronaut Payne until she becomes happy. Uh, keep that romantic bar going. It shouldn't go down too much, but that's fine. As soon as everyone's happy, woohoo with Astronaut in the bed. And that is where the achievement, what it would be, what would it be like? And it is very interesting. I mean, the only sort of, the only bit of ghost porn I've ever seen was on Scary Movie. Where the demon got uh, with, I forget her name. But he's like, hey, screw this, I'm out of here. So we have woohooed with the ghost, and now we have just got a couple more uh, career maxins to do. Now again, you may have one, you may have two, you may have three um, of the careers left to do. For me personally, it was two. Um, so for one, we're going to be getting out a computer once more. And uh, so again, just get the ghost bright and disappearing one, whatever it's called, the ten grand one. And... So yeah, so three of the Korea Max achievements unlocked automatically, but we still need the culinary expert and the business expert. So get a couple of computers out. And then the daily task for business Tate anyway. So we're done with her now. We've proposed to her. We've had sex with her as a ghost and in a rocket ship. And now she can just go and do her own thing. Now she can do the whole thing of, I broke up with my husband so I can focus on my career. What, why does everyone say that after a breakup? Man or woman? Yeah, we broke up because I want to focus on my career. What, stacking shelves in Tesco's? Okay, pal, no problem, eh? No problem. <laughs> anyway, so, obviously the two things I need, because I unlocked three already, the only thing I need now is the business, which is the computer, and the bar for culinary Kate, which is exactly what I do. So I uh, chuck a bar out for her, get rid of the rocket ship now, because we've already done the nasty and the pasty in the rocket ship. So we don't need you anymore. And it's literally just a case then of, as we've done, as we've said and done, we're doing the daily tasks uh, for both Business Tate and Culinary Kate. Ah, that rhymed and I did know it. Yeah. And then, of course, it's just a case then of having to wait. I think the worst part of this, these whole uh, maximum career achievements, is just the waiting part. Especially for Culinary Kate, because it takes her every two days to go to work. And then if she doesn't... Get the promotion, you've got to wait another two days, and it's just an old pain in the ass. So with Kate then, we need, to, oh Tate, sorry, we need to uh, research some stocks. So just do exactly what i done there, just research stocks, and then just literally keep doing that. And if she gets off, just keep going until the daily task is done. And then normally for me, uh, her promotion happens straight away. Culinary Kate though, what we need to do then, click on her, and then you can... The main thing to do is to mix the drinks, but you can either practice mixing the drinks or practice this, practice that. Have a go of uh, literally everything. Um, and then when she starts to get a little better, she actually just automatically starts mixing drinks and puts them on the bar anyway. So the daily task will be done. So as long as the t um, both daily tasks are done for both of them, we should now get the business uh, career achievement unlocked. So that was after the first time of doing that. And then, for, again, for Culinary Kate, she came home the first time from work and she didn't have the promotion. So we had to wait another two in-game days, plus another eight hours in-game, of course. Thank God. Uh, but, again, that took about 20 minutes of waiting around like a noob. But that should be all of the career ones. Again, if you don't have any of the other ones, obviously just do their daily tasks, etc. And go again. Um, so hopefully I explained the career aspect quite well. Apologies if not. Please don't hate me. I need love. I run off love. All your love. So we're going to be doing one more thing to get all of the achievements now. Start a new game. No spanky very much. Oh, hey. Hey, what's going on? Mm -mm -mm. We're going to open the gallery, actually. And then go down to the basket case trophy plus. 
load that family in and that achievement is going to unlock straight away well it may take about 10 to 15 seconds but it should unlock without you having to do anything and that will be that then guys and gals so i'm going to leave it here then so thank you so so much for watching i really hope that this guide uh you've enjoyed and that it has helped you massively in getting the sims 4 from 80 hours completion to three to four hours um if it, of course, if it did help, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials as well. Twitter, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff. Big, massive, huge shout-out to all the guys and gals who continue to support the show. And especially for those on Patreon as well. I highly, highly appreciate it. And, like I said, with that all done, finally, we can... We will be able to end it. It does take about... 15 to 20 seconds maybe a little bit longer but it should unlock anyway but again thank you so so much for watching guys and gals i shall see you in the next one big love